All right, we have Joe here for Luxury Daily. Joe, will you walk us through the latest issue of Vanity Fair? Yep. As you can see on the cover, there's Kerry Washington. Um, she's starring in a new drama called Scandals. And um, the first page advertisement is Chanel. And following that is another Chanel ad. Uh, and then on the third page, it's also Chanel. So they have six pages in total for this one advertisement. And as you can see, it's provocative. It's black and white and with silver thrown in. And it has these um, kind of funky displays. And so by uh, just dominating the front of the magazine, uh, they're definitely going to get some attention. And then following that, we have an ad for Estee Lauder. And then Gucci follows. And then Giorgio Armani. And again, um, Chanel's uh, focus in the front of the magazine is kind of rippling throughout. So as consumers flip through the magazine, they'll definitely be thinking about Chanel. St. Laurent is next. Bottega, uh, Veneta, Lancome follows. And ads just continue throughout the front of the magazine. Uh, it's interesting, Nicole Kidman is here for Omega, and then a few pages later, we see her in a Jimmy Choo ad for their new campaign. There's a video that accompanies this, um, and there's more ads right at the front. Going to the core of the magazine, as usual, the ads taper, but they're still there until we really get to the heart of the magazine where the features are. And one interesting story is um, a look at what happened during the Benghazi raid. So I miss all the, the noise that has been occurring. Vanity Fair claims to give us a clear account of what happened. And then this feature stories continue until the back of the magazine when we have a Dior ad. Great.